good morning everybody. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop. My name is Steve, and hey, hopefully I am still your favorite engraver in the woods. Well, this morning I was, uh, I was going through the shop, and I just happened to notice this device sitting next to me. This is the, uh, this is the dust right dust separator. And I thought this was worth the review, okay? And here's why. Now, as with all things we have to spend money on in our shops, whether you're a hobbyist, you're somebody looking to, uh, to build and fabricate professionally, or you're already running a shop, I look at things that can save me money. Uh, something that can give me a return on my investment, my ROI, okay? Well, this is one of those devices, and right now you're probably scratching your head and you're going, what on earth is this man talking about? Well, I didn't buy this so much because of all the cyclonic technology hype and all that. Uh, this, is, this is a dust separator, yes. There are other models like it. There's the Cyclone, there's, I think, maybe the Dust Devil. And there's a bunch of uh, do-it-yourself fittings and, and stuff that you can buy for everything from a five-gallon bucket to a trash can to a 55-gallon drum. Uh, now, we all know up here that our shop is small. I'm 14 feet wide by 22 long. I'm 308 square feet. I certainly don't have a lot of room for a lot of things, okay? So, my purchases, I need to make them count. But I also like to try to get a return back on that investment, either in longevity or what it's going to save me for something else. Well, in this case, what this does, uh, and what you see right here, okay, this is, uh, this is what comes with it. You get, a, you get a flexible hose, your two tops, your lid, and your drum. Uh, we'll get to the other side in a second. This just, it, it, it plugs into the top. Uh, of one of the uh, 90 degree fittings and then it plugs into my shop vac. Now for a device like this or, or even another device like it, I think they recommend at least a three, three and a half horsepower vacuum. And I don't think the vacuum is as important as the power associated with it. Shop vac, Cobalt, Craftsman, Husky, uh, whoever, whoever you decide to go with, uh, I would just make sure it's a minimum of three to three and a half horse. Now I have this hooked up uh, to a 6.5 peak horsepower shop vac, uh, the big 16 gallon stainless drum. It's big, it weighs a lot, and when it's full, yeah. Well, this is why I opted for this device. This plugs into my, my main vacuum. What you see over here, uh, I put a reducer on. I hooked it up to a one inch airline. It's got an old fitting. I, 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 I'm a bit of a pack rat, so I'll save some of my old fittings. This one fit perfectly on my DeWalt orbital. This orbital has the, uh, has the holes in the bottom with the Velcro, uh, Velcro pads. So when the vacuum's turned on and this, this thing is sanding away, I don't have to wear a dust mask. I hate wearing a dust mask. Okay? So this is, this is one of the reasons I opted for this. Now, what this ends up saving is all your heavy particulates through its engineered, patented, cyclonic action, which I, I'm not even going to get into. I'm not an engineer, okay? Uh, all your heavy particulates and stuff hit the bottom. Therefore, it saves the amount of times that I have to empty my primary canister on my vacuum itself. I only empty it about twice a year now. Every six months I empty it, okay? That used to be the amount of time, every six months is about when I changed my cartridges, okay? Now, this is where this device saves you money. When you put a pre-filter in line for something, uh, this takes the brunt of what I'm doing, okay? It saves the shot vac filter in and of itself from getting caked full of dust and it saves the canister itself from getting full quicker than usual. This is, uh, this gets about halfway. I take it out back, I dump it into a, a drum that I save all my shavings and my, my sawdust from. Uh, we end up making uh, biomass briquettes that we burn on our, our little stove over here. <laughs> our shop tries to come full cycle uh, when we do recycle, okay? Well, 
what this has done for me thus far, and, and we're going to reach back here and, and pull this out, okay? This is, this is my filter cartridge. This is the one that came out of my shop vac. I don't know if you can see inside. This is one of the nice blue HIPAA filters. HIPAA, HEPA, tomato, tomato, okay? Normally, without an inline pre-filter, like I said, dust right, the cyclone, whoever you choose, maybe you build your own, it acts as a scrubber to keep the amount of junk, crud, contaminants, and fine particles out of, out of my cartridge. Therefore, I've gone from replacing this cartridge twice a year. Uh, this is the same cartridge I bought over 24 months ago. Okay? Now, cartridge cost. To put this into a, a dollar amount, this device is $79. Okay? You can buy it online. I bought mine through Rockler. Yes, I would recommend them. Uh, there's a lot of other retailers out there. Feel free to shop around. But this set me back 79 bucks, okay? Now, the cartridges for my particular vacuum, and they're going to vary, of course, uh, the white economical paper filters are under 20 bucks, okay? To me, uh, the, 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 the membrane, the actual fiber that makes the filter is not as strong as these blue HEPA filters. However, the blue HEPA filter, these are over 40 bucks a piece. Now, I, I pretty much exclusively was only buying these, okay? I was going to go back to the economy filters, and then I bought this device. I'm really glad I did, uh, because the money that I now save in cartridges is money that can be utilized someplace else in the shop, okay? Now, if I can save $80 to $100 a year in cartridge, cartridges, well, hey, that's maybe more saw blades I can go get for my, my table saw. That's more 12-inch you know, blades I can get for my, my chop saw. Whatever the case is, the money that you save in one place is money you can use someplace else. Well, hey, fellas, maybe the money you save you can even take your wife or your significant other out to dinner with, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I would recommend it for the mere fact of the savings. Now, the other thing, by keeping this cartridge not as plugged full, it's going to save wear and tear on your vacuum because now your motor, uh, imagine trying to breathe with somebody holding a pillow over your face. Well, it's the same effect when these, these filter cartridges are plugged right full, okay? Your, your, your motor has got to work harder. It may not have the same, you know, sucking power. And uh, all in all, it's, it's going to create wear and tear on that motor. So well, that's the other thing it does for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lengthen the longevity on your, uh, whichever vacuum you happen to own, uh, in my opinion. All right? Well, I hope this helped. Uh, if you're interested, uh, by all means, go online, read some different reviews. I would give the dust right two thumbs up. Uh, it's worked good for me. What's nice about it too is, is unlike some things you go out and buy, this doesn't require any external power source. You, you plug it in, you throw it under your wherever. Uh, you know, mine sits under my desk, uh, under my counter rather, my, my workbench. And it, it's primarily used as a pre-filter uh, for when I'm doing, doing sanding on, on things. But, okay? Again, I hope this helped. Uh, I hope you guys uh, got a little something out of this and uh, shop around. All right? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.